I can turn my story into something that helps others and in turn acts as therapy for me. I found the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and it literally saves my life on a weekly basis. We encourage people to come and join us. It's very healing. It's very uh, amongst survivors. You're amongst people that understand and get what you're going through. Also that it's for people who are struggling personally, people who have attempted. We reach out to the community as a whole. So nobody is left behind. We want to reassure everybody that you're not alone and we are here to support you. The devastation rocked my world and my family and this extended family that I've joined here has been amazing. They've broken down the barriers and the walls dealing with suicide. This walk will be my first walk. Um, I know that it will bring some closure, but not a lot of closure to this grief that I have. I feel that suicide prevention is a must. We need to break down those walls and that stigmatism associated with it. Um, the more people we can get out to walk, the better we are. I wanted to make a difference. The hard decision to make that either I was going to do something for me or I wasn't going to do anything at all. Do it for others, but I do it for myself. Okay. It's become really universalized. Of course, I still mourn Todd, exactly. but I see so many groups of individuals that have been affected that maybe I could help. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes so much more than Todd. You know? right. Very healing to reach out to other people to try to help prevent things that have caused grief in your own life. Personal reasons for doing this went from uh, grieving and honoring an individual that I have lost to a uh, much more universal kind of a thing uh, to try to help people understand uh, the reason for suicide and what we can do to recognize signals that may be leading, leading in that direction and especially the fact that there isn't anyone that may not be touched by suicide.